Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia. Um, please forgive the lack of lighting. Um, my other light is in the other room. I'm using it for something else. And um, also the mess, my room is a mess. It's been really crazy here. Lots of things to do, lots of, lots of stuff going on. I've been working a lot, so <sighs> that's why it's taken me so long to create a video. Um, this video for today is going to be one I promised, uh, it's been a while, but this look here with the um, golden Israeli and then the shot, oops, it's falling apart, um, the shiny licious, um, but I'm gonna be doing it to match my outfit. So this golden Israeli here in this nice minty green color and a shiny licious in this pretty pink. Okay. So I have on a Wendy Beret volumizer and it's partially stuffed. I have my hair in there, so nothing, nothing super huge. Um, but to get started with this, I'm going to be holding the scarf like so, and I'm just folding in the edges. Um, the wrap itself has lots of pleats. Those come in like randomly. So don't worry about it if you don't get them right the way. Okay, so I'm going to be putting it on my head. Let's actually get this correct. Okay, so, all right. I'm gonna be folding it just to, just to not show off the edges, okay? So it looks like a very long, um, some sort of triangle piece, okay? I'm gonna be placing this on my head like so just want it long enough to bring this piece around the back and tuck under the shaper for a sec. Okay. All right, now I'm going to be bringing this piece here down around the back and over the shoulder. All right, now if you wanna play with this to get you some more pleats, now's the time to do it. I'm okay with just the two this time if you wanted more. Just take and pinch and pull that scarf forward like so. You can put up the pleats closer together, further apart. It's all up to you. Okay, just like so. Just wanna make sure that you're covering the front of your shaper. Right. Now to make this easier for later, I'm just gonna open it up and lay it a little bit flat right here. Okay, I'm gonna take the second scarf and I'm going in the opposite direction as far as the angle. Um, one tail long, one tail short. It, it all depends on how long you want this tail. Right, folding it to fit my head better. I am going to flip it. I want the long tail to come out on the same side as the long tail of the Israeli. So this is what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm gonna go underneath right here. It'll take a bit of practice, but I'm going underneath and crisscross applesauce in the back. So, okay, so you have the tails. You can tie a knot there if you want. I did here. So to do that, let me show you. Turn around. Just find the scarf. Use the short end to go over and then come out like so. You see? Okay. Now we're gonna wanna fix our green scarf. and also get that angle correct to show those pretty pleats. This wrap is a little more advanced, so don't get frustrated. If you're, you're new, it just takes a bit of practice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I can get a lot of really cool pleats with this, this side. I opened it up. So there we go. 
All right, so. Just trying for some pleats. They'll get there. Okay. So we will fine tune it when we get it up and across and tucked away. Okay, so just folding this up and oopsies. So we have all of this. I'm gonna bring it up from the back around this direction. Okay. All right, I'm tucking in the back takes a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So when I get to here, making sure to tuck in all the little wonky, all those little wonky bits. Okay. Bringing it down. I'm going to bring it around the back. I'm going to tuck it in like so. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to adjust. So you can see the, the pleats come out. Like so. Don't worry about this piece if your scarf does that, no worries. Because it's going to be covered. Okay, we got this. All right, you also can take it and roll it under. Choice is yours, but it's not going to be seen. Okay. All right. Pull this rope just a little bit more. All right, now it's time to bring up our second tail of the pink scarf. I think this one is mulberry. All right, and we're coming up over the side and just coming up and to the back to follow the same exact, um, oh my goodness, diagonal, the same exact angle of the first mulberry. Okay. I'm opening it up a little bit because I want to have this side exclusively pink. Okay, so I brought this back to get the knot, that beautiful knot. I tied a beginner's lock backwards, okay? Instead of going behind and having the tail, instead of doing this round and through like so, I'm going to be taking the tail in the front and coming around and out the front. Go around the back and out the front. Okay, like so. Now, we have that pretty knot here. I brought this piece around the back and just tucked it in where I could. So for me, that's right here. That's where I'm gonna be tucking. Okay, and you'll see this really, hopefully see this really interesting knot here. Okay, and that tail will lay down and be super cute. This is the base wrap. This is it, the wrap. Um, again, can be done with so many different scarves, but I, I think it looks better with a square scarf and a rectangular scarf, but keeping the rectangular scarf light so I wouldn't use a pashmina, like a cranberry or might be able to get away with a Lakeshore Bliss, but in this weather, there's no way. Um, but yeah, this is it. Now I have picked up a brooch and let's see, oh, there it is. Okay, so I have the brooch here, I'll show you. And I will be putting the brooch just right here. Okay. 
brush placement is your choice, but I tend to like that. If this tail gets on your nerves, you can totally get rid of that as well by just bringing it around and tucking it in. Okay, so that is, that'll give you a look like this on the side. And it's totally possible that mine will be there today, depending on how this annoys me at work. All right, my apologies for the, um, the length of time it took me to get this one filmed. And I hope that this is helpful for you to create this look. Um, I will see you again in the next video. Have a wonderful day.